Long before he ever acquired powers, this guy that's normally known to be bonded with the Carnage symbiote, Cletus Cassidy was a deranged serial killer who murdered because he could. Like, he was just a just dark person. Grew up in a foster home after his father killed his mother. Yeah, that's not a good example. That's why people like this go insane. Need to get have a good family figure. Then he was sentenced to death on Cletus' testimony. He had terrible abuse in his life. His first act of murder, he burned down his orphanage and killed one of the staff. This dude is just dark. He ended up doing other murders in his life ended up in jail who he ended up sharing a cell with eddie brock himself at the time he was separated from venom eddie symbiote came to literal prison to get him out but unknowingly nobody knew the venom symbiote left a larva there then that binded with cletus cassidy you see where that one he became the monster known as carnage using his raw power or newfound power he escaped prison with ease went on a series of mass killing often battling spider-man and other heroes and etc but before i go any farther thank you all that have donated to the channel Being a symbiote to your character, he should have strength like Venom, or a lot of people even say he's the greatest of them all, besides Toxin, of course. Whatever the feats that Venom can do, Carnage should be able to do better when it comes to raw strength, because we know Venom can live hundreds of tons, just like in my Venom videos. The only reason Toxin even surpasses Carnage is because it's a spawn of him, you know. You're going to see a lot of Venom and Carnage and Spider-Man in this vid, strong enough to sling Venom to the ground, like going through stuff. Strong enough to smash through a wall of special glass, oh yeah, making tendrils and blades and bullets bouncing off strong enough to lift and throw hella copters of course he can do that obviously he can lift cars that would be crazy if he couldn't and spider-man can he's gotten a scuffle with power man one tendril like little pieces of him like little yeah not even his actual muscle just picks some people up he got in an occasion with Deadpool, rips him out of this construction vehicle, slings him that far. That one time he fought Wolverine, he literally bit through his bone claws. Let that sink in. Going through an office building, smashed his way through the walls of it. Raw strength. And he also pulled his way out of Cloak's dimension. This one time Cloak tried to, you know, kind of do some battlefield removal. Strong enough to rip sinks out the floor and hurl it in the process. Killing doppelganger with a kick. Just straight, straight violent. Just destroying civilians. Marble wall gets destroyed. You're going to see this be a pattern overpowering venom battle feet to lifts desk and hurls it out the window tendrils and tearing apart a roof of the car is nothing slice slice strong enough to smash up a street literally tearing a reinforced door off the hinges oh how you doing and there's plenty of cases of him battling spider-man sling spider-man with his literal face he even pulled a security guard do the bars of his sail he's gotten a battle feet with characters like nightcrawler heck he even knocked out nightcrawler like sleepy time consistently smashing folk through the prison wall he's even gotten a battle feat with superior spider-man sends him flying yum rips the bars off a prison cell raw steel isn't enough smashes venom through yeah another battle feat with venom through a wall he can just pick up cars overhead tears out an adamantium sentinel's eye ripping sentinels apart just smashing through the walls of prisons is light work to him. Look at them big old blades he can make. Smash through a reinforced wall. Look, just does all that damage. <laughs> this guy in the battlefield with Spider-Man threw an oven at Spider-Man. Are you kidding? You ever heard of the quote of Carnage is stronger than Spider-Man and Venom are put together? Well, this occasion he fought Spider-Man and Venom. Get off of me. Y'all remember that time he hurled a man through a window all, all the way across the street? I mean, think about it. He smashed a guard through an armored truck. Stretching ability. Even when he's partially transformed, he still can produce superhuman strength because it's still a part of him. I don't know how he was able to do this, but yeah, Magneto, you got to make sure your shield is up because he can hurt you with your shields down. Able to draw blood from Magneto on this occasion. Look how far he can jump out of water. Carrying a woman jumps out of a falling bus. He literally ripped the bloodstone out of man wolf this one time i mean he swung between buildings while carrying venom at the same time it's just like he doesn't have to actually grab you with his hands to really you know get a hold of you kind of reminds me of some martian manhunter type stuff and in this occasion slung venom across the city when it comes to raw speed he can you know swing across the city similar to spider-man to get an idea of his maximum fighting speed or potential you gotta look at the characters that he's fighting against like spider-man tears they have ridiculous fighting speed by the way for example nova was flying towards him like kid nova of course and he was able to react to him like that there's this one time where carnage got advantage jumped on him like these beings attacked carnage with magical weapons he purposely doesn't dodge because he thinks he can just tank them but he's not knowing that to bind him on sight but when he got a rematch 
he disarmed all of them before they could even he disarmed all of them without touching their weapons so he learned his lesson and when i say disarmed like he literally takes off their hands yeah it states here magical weapons aren't much use if you got no way to hold them i mean of course they're cannon fodder but he was able to tear apart these goons before they can react they're too slow violent he's fast enough to compete with fighting speed of characters like spider-man remember has reacted or fought things moving at the speed of light like dodging lasers it even states in this particular panel i'm showing you i've got the speed of light on my side and carnage can fight on par with spider-man when it comes to fighting speed and spider-man has trouble avoiding his attacks with this fighting speed that says a lot about how fast carnage can strike like yeah he can like basically he would be looking like this like a blur if he was to fight you he deflates hits from deadpool shoots bad bullets like his own little bullets here kills guards before they can react blitzes a guard of soldiers through a vent or a pipe even deadpool had trouble reacting to him like does this to deadpool before he can do anything feed with venom catches his blow then does this to his arm he evades firestar's beam backflips over a speeding car it's like a form of agility fighting speed reaction time i mean heck he even avoided sonic blast before trying to come up from behind sneak attack and get out of my way with a tendril i mean when it comes to durability he took hits from missiles without getting splatted oh, spider-man is strong as he is gave him his hardest punch and he literally laughed he even stated with a sunday punch that's got everything i've got behind it and then carnage literally said is that all is that the best you can do that is so pathetic and there's a significant gap between him and spider-man and raw strength he even gotten hit by Kane, Battle Feet, can withstand thousands of volts of electricity without dying. Even in recent-ish type of stuff, he's gotten his scuffles with Toxin. He got overpowered here, though, and got slung really freaking far. Of course, bullets bounce off of him. Durability. Literally, bullets are not doing it. Like, he can go through machine gun fire. Even withstand Spider-Man Woman's bioelectric blast. Gotta respect his durability because of all his fights with Venom, of course. Got in a fight with Scarlet Spider-Man, and it seemed like he couldn't do too much to him. Battle Feet showing him where Carnage stands when it comes to spider people, tendrils. As you can see here, he says more, come on, come on, like it ain't nothing. And he's still holding his ground against spider folk, smiling. Definitely not on the tier with characters like Sentry, but he survived being slammed through multiple floors of the raft. An extremely super durable super prison that's made for super powered beings. And yeah, he got overpowered. Yeah, but he got ripped in half. But even though he got ripped in half, his symbiote actually kept him alive in space, even though he was ripped in half. Generation? Oh, let me get to the regeneration. People really sleep on the symbiotic beings as a regeneration. It's kind of like on some Deadpool stuff, like his head literally exploded, but yet it literally reformed. Right with Agent Venom, there was a time his head even got cut off. That's right, but it did not slow him down. Carnage symbiote is in his bloodstream, meaning that he can reform it from a single drop of blood, like completely. Can reform it just from a single scratch. Respect it stabs you if i didn't know any better i would mistake this dude for mr fantastic the length he can stretch oh hold on he was able to stretch throughout the entire city to scan for folks not only can he shoot out this many little tendrils but he can also transfer his actual body through these tendrils at super fast speeds well what's the point of web slinging right like he literally just changed locations just like that he can web up folk just like spider-man does he makes all kind of weapons with his stuff like spears making his arms into axes claws slice and dice the symbiote can alter his clothes not transform to look normal i mean he was able to trap spider-man like in a cage smothered a huge bomb with his body extends like a spike through his chest splits his arm into two large blades like cat too swings a blade from his chest like it's like you don't know where the combat's going to come from multiple spikes coming out of his bite at the same time impaling another occasion of huge claws sweeps through vents and air duds liquidy grabs a man's gun like this stretchy arm he can make people shoot themselves by like pulling it like that brings down a freaking helicopter look at him twisting up the gears kills a man with a spike to his face <laughs> He can stretch his neck far like an eel. Massive blades after pouring through a pipe. His opponents were shrunk right here. Don't ask. But like he made his hand into like a mace with spikes. Agent Venom kills a man through a small hole. Can even form a parachute. Like these guys shouldn't even web slam. They should just glide or make wings. Seeps through a wooden wall. He envelops people while restrained. Just envelops them like this is gross. Holy crap. This guy sounds invincible. Well, he might just be. No, nah, I'm just kidding. He ain't invincible. But he's dang near close because, I mean, he had a weakness at one point. Stuff that hurt him, but he kind of has way better resistance to sonic attacks and fire compared to other symbiotes. Newer Carnage stuff is kind of like he evolved completely. Like, it states here, Sonics can't touch me anymore thanks to the Dark Hole. Kind of just got immune to it, just period. I mean, think about it. He fought Deadpool through a wall of fire, who stand blast from microwave projectors. 
fights Venom in a burning building. The symbiote itself survived an explosion from Claw, which itself is made of sound. He survived a hit in the face from Reed Richards' sonic gun. You know what I mean? Never forget that it has bonded with zoo animals. You know what? I'm done. The symbiote even grew to an immense size after absorbing a herd of cattle. And by the way, this is the symbiote by itself without Cletus Cassidy. It can run pretty fast by itself. I'm telling you, man, it should just do wings all the time. It like literally forms wings, kills a pair of superior Spider-Man's henchmen. Can we just uh, address the elephant in the room? Cletus Cassidy without his symbiote. All right, what? It states here, I still have some of his strength though. So yeah, don't get too heavy. Poor police officers, y'all ain't ready. He has it all, ranged attacks, omnidirectional attacks, like he can throw some daggers, like a symbiote knife, axe, type of bow and arrow bullets, type of razor sharp thingies. And more occasions, battlefield with Spider-Man, look at this projectile. As you can see, Spider-Man has the block and omnidirectional just coming out of his chest like Durr. Symbiotes have like some mining abilities, like being able to take control over people if it takes over, like a group of heroes. I mean, he injected his madness into his psychologist's mind before. How jacked up you be, Carnage? Think about Cletus Cassidy. The more powerful the being it possesses, the more stronger that character is. Like Carnage, for example, if he possessed like top tier beings like Silver Surfer, for example. Oh yeah, he has done that, by the way. Yeah, in this power level, he was definitely in the Thor tiers when he possessed the Silver Surfer, when he wasn't on Cletus Cassidy. Just straight madness. The Carnage Cosmic. He's became the Superior Carnage, Dr. Carl Malice, Spider Carnage, yep, Ben Rayleigh, the Wizard, Dr. Tannis Neves, it literally became its own symbiote later though. Her own symbiote known as Scorn with technopathic powers, right? So he's had different hosts over the years. He has feats that make absolutely no sense like being able to attack somebody through the freaking computer network. How in the heck does that even work? It's a digital. He came out the computer. Who wrote this mess because he did it again? Are you kidding me? Like nobody's safe. Venom does the same beat. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Like this is ridiculous. They even mentioned this in another series. Through the internet cable. He can go through the ethernet cable and attack you through the freaking computer or the internet. How does that even work? The Carnage, we know, has had his fair share of power-ups. Like I just showed you about the Carnage symbiote getting on Silver Surfer, for example. But that's only one iteration of it. There was this being known as Noel, the god of the symbiotes event. There was this story known as Absolute Carnage. One could say this is his power-up. They called it Absolute Carnage, or some even call it Dark Carnage, where he was drawing in some power from Noel, the god of symbiotes himself, where he actually jumped way up there in the powerhouse tiers. It states here in the lore, Cletus Cassidy bonded with a godly symbiote known as Grendel. Grendel, who was also created by Noel, by the way, in this new powered up state, he fought a Hulk tier being Hulk Venom Fusion, basically Venom Hulk, Venom Immortal Hulk, might I add. Not only did he get the advantage over him, but he ended up taking away the symbiote from the Hulk, combining this symbiote with himself, while Bruce Banner is knocked out here, and becomes even stronger than he was before. Get punched back, freaking Captain America. Yeah, he's just really powered up right now. All that temporary power-up stuff aside, there was this one time Carnage even bonded with the Green Goblin. Spider-Man cured Norman Osborn of his Green Goblin serum induced insanity by injecting him with an antidote, but the cure also depowered Norman, and if there's one thing Norman will never stand for, it's losing power, so he found the one thing that could purge the antidote, the Carnage symbiote with his power and his insanity restored, and mixed with additional powers of Carnage symbiote, the Red Goblin was born, you know. Yeah, just think of the Green Goblin strength and uh, Carnage put together. This isn't necessarily Cletus Cassidy at the exact second though, but you know, Carnage symbiote, you got the idea. He's become poison Carnage before, like look at this design, yeah, respect it. But that's just about going to do it, everybody. Just keep in mind that this is a temporary power, but this isn't his normal power levels where he became like Hulkish tier. He was able to harm Hulk with his blows, Venom Hulk, you know what I'm saying? So he's pretty freaking strong like this, but in base, he's considered stronger than the standard symbiote tiers like Venom, normal Venom. Stronger than him, stronger than Spider-Man. The gap isn't super mega astronomical, but it's definitely noticeable to a big degree to where he does have the strength advantage over Spider-Man. He even fought Venom and Spider-Man and overpowered him at the same time in the same video without being amped up by Noel or nothing like that. No absolute carnage amps and stuff like that. With the absolute carnage amp stuff like that, his fighting speed is insane. He's far above tiers like Daredevil, for example, and just food for thought. 
Carnage is much faster than people like Daredevil who have reflexes in the microsecond ranges, proof of it here. Not to mention Daredevil has dodge attacks from Electro, Lightning, stuff like that. So Carnage should have Lightning plus level fighting speed, massively hypersonic, along with strength greater than Spider-Man and Venom when it comes to raw power in general. You know what I'm saying? Respect it. He can make freaking weapons kind of like Martian Manhunter type stuff, like on some Axis type stuff, but that's none of my business. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. And check out those playlists so you can see more stuff on the channel like this. I will see you guys later. Respect Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. No matter what host he's bonded on, Osborne, Silver Surfer, re respect them. <laughs>